What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I'm back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a plan with me inside my Hobonichi Weeks for the very first week of November. The first full week of November. So this will be November 4th through the, oh my goodness, what is it? Let me look it up. I still have my October calendar up, so... This will be November 4th through the 10th that I'm planning for. Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. I do hope you find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. Okay, so today I'm going to be using um, some beautiful fall books. I'm going to use Squad Life. And I'm going to use this beautiful fall sticker book from Happy Planner. And I'm going to add the dates from the Dates and Holidays book. Okay, so if you want to see how all of this comes together to make a beautiful spread to welcome the month of November, just stick around. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to cover up this bottom um, writing because I'm going to put some pretty translucent washi down here at the bottom. I hope that you all had a great October. I feel like the month of October just flew by. I mean, literally. Actually, we're still in October, and I feel like it is flying by. So I'm going to grab this um, washi tape that has the gold foil leaves on it, and I'm going to cover up this bottom section with it. And... I love how this washi tears. It's so easy. It's just like paper. I wish more washi tapes were like that. Some of them have like a plasticky feel to them and it's hard to tear that kind. But this kind must be closer to real washi tape. I don't know. I don't know what the authentic washi tape is like. I don't know when I have authentic washi tape and when I don't. <laughs> but this one feels really good. And it's easy to tear. And I do have a little tiny piece hanging off the side here. So let me cut that. There we go. All right. Now, um, not really sure what all I'm going to do on this page. But I do know that I want to use this long orange box. I just love this um, sticker book. It is so pretty. But this box is too long to fit on this page, but I'm going to handle that. Oops, don't stick just yet. I'm going to handle that by cutting it down to the size that I need. And then we're just going to fake it. Um, I think I'm going to cut it down right here. I'm going to cut it on this line. It's got the grid lines on it to kind of help me and then I'm going to cut this little bottom just this little bottom line and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a little box hack is that still too long though? I think I've cut it too long hold up before we stick you down hold up I think I've still made it too long. So let's cut it a little bit more. And I'm going to show you a little box hack. So I'm going to lay this box down. And I had 
had to trim it because it was too long to fit on this page. But I'm going to take this little line that I cut off and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of this box. As close as I can to there. So you can't tell that it's been cut. And if you don't tell nobody, I won't tell nobody. There we go. <laughs> okay, and that is the first thing I want to do. Then next, I want to make sure I use this sticker that says Hello November before I forget. And that is highly possible. So let me go ahead and put it in now. And I just got to decide whether I want to put it here or over here. I like it here, but I like it here too. Let's think about it for a second. Thinking about everything else that I want to put on this page. Okay, I'm going to put it here because I have some other boxes that I also would like to use. So let me try to get this on here as straight as I can. Let's see if that's straight. straighten it up just a little bit if it will let me pull it up. I've been having pretty good um, situations with the Hobonichi paper, but you never know when it wants to start acting up, so try to be careful with it. Okay, that's good. Hello November. Now, Let's see what else I want to do. I know I want to use this little girl on her bike. And honestly, I wanted to use her right next to the Hello November, but then that won't leave me a whole lot of space to write. So let me see where else I can put her. Yeah, that won't leave me much space at all. I could put her here at the bottom. There's also another girl I wanted to use on this page. So let me think for just a second. If I put it here, that could be cute. So let's just go ahead and put it down here. Okay, so we're gonna put it there. And because there was another fall girl I wanted to use, I think I will go ahead and put her here. Yep, we're just going to do it. We're going to go for it. Okay, now that I've got those two girls down, I'm going to go in and add a few little boxes. I'm getting nervous, y'all. <laughs> I am getting nervous, but there's no reason to get nervous because I put it down now. You done did it now. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put down this little, I guess it's kind of like a quarter box. I like that. And I've got another box like that, but it's got a pie in it, and I'm not sure I want the pie in there. I also have a blue box. I'm not sure that the blue is going to match what I'm trying to do. So let me let me look in the front and see if there are any more small stickers yeah, like that one. I'll use this dark colored one here for what is that Wednesday? And then I think I might use this green one for Friday. And then I've got some checklists that I can add in here as well. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do was add in some more of these boxes that are included in the Squad Life book. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to fit. I could hack this box as well 
and just cut it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hack it. So let me see where I need to stop and cut. I need to cut on this line right here. Or maybe even this one. Let's do another box hack because this one is too wide to fit in the space I'm working with. So I'm going to put this box. Let me let me white out this little space here. White out this little box. Okay. And then I'm going to lay this box Oops, I might need to cut a little bit more, a little bit skinnier. Hold up. I want to make sure I cover up that black box, though, that little whited out area. I want to slide it right up next to where that box okay that's good so now I'm gonna cut along this line and I don't want to tear this box up while I'm cutting it And I'm going to do the same little hack, just slide it on here as if it was never cut. Try to line it up with the box. Voila! I'm here for it. Okay. We're doing well. We're doing all right. Okay, now I need to put in some... I either need to use some checklists or I need to use some of these little hearts and I'm thinking that it might be easier for me to just go ahead and use the dot so let me grab my tweezers and let me go ahead and put these dots in and I'm also going to lay down the um, let me write out the area where I'm going to put in the dates because I'm going to use the happy planner um, dates and holidays to put the dates in here okay so I'm going to add in my little date my little checklist dots and the date numbers and I will be back Okay, now that I've got that down, I want to go back into the fall sticker book and add this beautiful washi right here. Ooh, 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 look at that. That is too cute. Okay, so let's add, I think this strip will fit across here, will it? Oh, no, not quite. All right, let's try another one. That one has to go back. I need it to fit all the way across. I'm just going to cover up that number four because we don't care about that right now. And I may be able to use this washi somewhere, can I? Just put it on here just for GP because it's cute. Okay, and then I'm going to add the second strip on the right side. And 
And then I think I might even use this little piece just because I hate to waste this beautiful washi. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, now I want to look for a quote or two to go over here on the side. And I'm gonna stay in this fall book. And there's lots of little sayings. There are lots of little sayings in here that I could grab. So let's see, which one are we gonna go with? Oh, this is cute. It's fall, y'all, and it's orange, and it could probably fit here. Let's see if I can squeeze it in there. Oh, it's covering up my girl, though. Maybe I'll cut it. Let me cut it so I don't cover her up, because she's like the main attraction. <laughs> she is the main thing in this spread, and I don't want my quote to cover her up. Y'all not gonna do that to me today. We're not doing that. Y'all little stickers. We're not playing those games, okay? We're going to all act right. We're all going to act right. Act accordingly. There we go. There we go. Boom. I'm here for it. It's not perfectly straight, but it's good enough for me. Okay, I like it. Now, let's see. Do we need to add anything else? Is there anything else we need to add to this spread? I'm feeling like I want to add a little bit more decorative elements. That's what I'm feeling. So, let me look in. I'm still in the fall sticker book. We've got these wreaths and we've got some leaves. Do I want to use any of them? Let's see. I could put a wreath here where it says noted. Let me just sit there and see how I like it. Yeah, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. I just want to move it over just a hair. Yeah, I'm digging that. And let's see if I need to add any leaves. I'm thinking no, but I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure before I leave this spread alone. thinking that this may be team too much to put that there or is it I think I'm gonna go for it okay I'm gonna go with that and I want to add one more of those over here yes honey bring some balance bring the balance to the planner spread Ah, that's it. That's it. I love it. Okay, we're done. We're done here. <laughs> we are done here. Okay, I love how this cute little spread turned out. I'm so glad I was able to incorporate the Happy Planner stickers into this Hobonichi Weeks. Y'all know I have been loving my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, yeah, I've been loving it. Now I'm struggling with... Do I want to go ahead and get another one, get a 2020 and start fresh in January? Or do I want to go ahead and work this one out until, when did I start this one? June? July? And it's getting chunky, y'all. Look at how, look at how fat she's getting. Okay, look at how chunky she's getting. <sighs> you know, I love a chunky planner, but that's my dilemma right now. What do y'all think I should do? Do you think I should go ahead and ride this one out until next year? Which, I mean, I love it. I'm loving the chunkiness of it. I just feel like, am I going to always start my Hobonichi in, in June and July and just ignore the dates? Or am I going to 
start fresh with one in January and follow the correct dates. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just thinking about this one getting super chunky and I won't be able to fit anything else in it. So anyway, that's just what I'm struggling with right now. Because um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm also moving into a Hobonichi Cousin for 2020 as well. And Happy Planner's not going anywhere because I do still have some uses for my Happy Planner. But I love the creativity that this um, Hobonichi line just makes me feel. It makes me feel very creative. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Piece of the Plans fam, I hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss any videos I have coming up for you right here in the next few weeks. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have a great November planner, babes. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.